Somebody in Grimsby told me that this was in their entrance exam for nursery, you know. It says, prove arc cos x is equivalent to arc tan 1 minus x squared over x. Looks like a mad one. Now, which side should we manipulate? Uh, technically, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually going to manipulate the left side, but what I'm going to show you, you could have applied to the right side as well. So, what some students do is they do tan of both sides or they just don't want to be working with the arcs, all right? The arcs aren't so bad. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let y be arc cos x. And in isolation, I don't actually want to work with arc, all right? Big up marky mark. Now, arc cos x is the inverse of what function? Well, that means inverse of cos. So it's the inverse of cos. Cos is the inverse of inverse cos, okay? So I'm going to cos both sides. All right. So this cancels. We're left with x is cosy. All right. Now here I'm going to be thinking about a right angled triangle. All right, so let's draw it. We have a right angled triangle where the angle is y. Now, what does cos measure? It measures the ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So this x, I'm going to write as x over 1. So the edge, the edge is x and the height is 1. So the edge, x, height, 1. We just need to find the missing side of the triangle. So using Pythagoras, we're going to root 1 squared, which is 1, minus x squared. Now, what are we trying to work with? We're trying to work with tan, aren't we? So from here, I'm going to work out what tan is. Tan is a o over a, oa, toa. So opposite over the adjacent. So that becomes root 1 minus x squared over x which now I can work out what y is, all right? So doing the inverse, what's the inverse of tan is arc tan. So that cancels, we're left with y is arc tan of root 1 minus x squared over x. But what did we say y was from before? It was arc cos. Therefore, arc cos x is equivalent to arc tan root, apologies for my pen running now, but I think you guys can see, all right? And that's proved. Now you could have done it the other way around, you could have let y equal this, you would have got tan is this, you then would have got this same triangle, you would have just had to work out the hypotenuse is one, then do cos x over one, you would have got this, then you would have got y uh, is arc cos x, yeah? So you could have done it that way as well, it's up to you how posh you're feeling, isn't it? So guys, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more mass content like this. And if you're interested in my full courses, then check the link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.